What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Blackout, if it's good, what my first impressions are, and if it can kill Fortnite. Now I wanted to play a few hours of this beta before I made a video, so I made sure that I did that. I know that there's been a couple of people, uh, probably tons of people who have uploaded a video similar to this one already, but I really wanted to make sure I got enough playtime in so that way I can really, really say that I know what I'm talking about. So in this video, I'm going to go over the pros and the cons of the blackout beta. The first thing that I want to mention is that I'm going to be talking about the beta of blackout. Obviously, we don't have the, the full game yet, so what I say in this video may not apply to the full game, although the beta is a pretty decently large chunk of the blackout already finished uh, so we kind of have an idea of what it's gonna look like on launch day the second thing I'm gonna be doing in this video is comparing it to Fortnite and while some people may disagree with that because they you know might say oh this is a first-person game this is Call of Duty it's completely different in reality uh, this is Call of Duty's attempt at Battle Royale and the only reason that it's attempting Battle Royale is because of Fortnite also PUBG, but mostly Fortnite. Fortnite is the dominant battle royale game, uh, and that's what Call of Duty is coming after, and it's only fair that I compare it to the top dog in the industry. And with that being said, let's start with the pros, right? Let's talk about what Blackout does right, because I think there's a lot of potential here, and I think there's a lot of things that it surprised me with. The first thing is that the game actually runs surprisingly smooth for a beta, and the servers handled the stress really well. From what I could tell, a lot of people jumped on at the exact same time. There was hardly any server issues um, a couple times I got kicked out of games randomly for random errors and stuff like that and of course there are bugs because it is a beta but as far as a beta goes it's pretty smooth especially because this is Call of Duty's first time making a battle royale game uh, and it just it ran a lot better than I thought the second thing I want to talk about is how good the kills feel and I think that's a that's an important part of any ba battle royale like when you get a kill you want it to feel good you don't want it to feel like random or panicky or whatever um, and the kills in this game feel like Call of Duty kills they don't really feel like Fortnite kills it's like when you're playing Call of Duty and you kind of melt somebody it feels good and, and that's kind of what they've been able to bring to blackout which is interesting because obviously they've tried their best to you know mold together uh, battle royale and Call of Duty into one thing and I think they did a pretty good job with it another thing that I want to commend them on is the way that you drop into the map now this is a huge thing that I hated with Fortnite because you have to drop so far away from where you want to land just to land there first uh, that you really have to like time it right and it's just super annoying and in this in blackout you just jump as close to where you want to go as you can and then you basically just nosedive and it shows you how fast you're moving on the screen and then you just glide right into where you want to go and I think that's way better now of course there's tons of issues with the dive mechanic um, in this game in the beta at least uh, the way that you move in your wingsuit is very like clunky and slow and there's definitely some glitches going on there um, so it's definitely not perfect there's also times where I've like before dropping I'm like running in midair like it's definitely a little bit glitchy but I think it's you know it's obviously it's the foundation of what it's going to be when it's launching and um, I think it's definitely better than other uh, battle royale games specifically Fortnite. another thing that I really liked was that they reused old maps and we knew this going in right like we knew that they were gonna be using old maps to make the giant blackout map um, but it just was put together really really well and I think um, you know some of the pieces the map are pretty ugly and barren but there are really really awesome places on the map like playing on asylum dropping asylum is really really cool firing range just seeing some of these old call of duty maps from the black ops franchise all come together it's really like a nostalgic nostalgia trip and i think that's what they were going for um because it just kind of makes you feel good plus you know players are familiar with the map a little bit when they first jump in um which is really really cool because you know one of the things with new games like fortnite and pubg is newer players have to learn the whole map whereas older players know everything where all the chests could be and everything like that um so with this it kind of like you know it kind of eases call of duty players into battle royale by saying hey look you know all of these maps already so just drop where you want to go and you'll at least kind of be able to figure it out from there um, which was really really cool and with that being said those are the biggest pros that i have for blackout um also the game is pretty fun obviously i played with us uh, i played with a quad i played with some duos i played solo a bunch of times you know the game is pretty fun and you know that's that's 
good but i want to move on to the cons now the most frustrating thing about blackout for me is the inability to get a gun when you drop and this is something that you definitely take for granted in games like fortnite but in this game you know there have been dozens of times where i die immediately because i drop and all i find are gun attachments armor uh, bullets like there's all sorts of stuff that you can pick up med kits and bandages and everything like that and there's no guns there's no guns anywhere and sometimes you know you walk into a room and there's three different guns all of them are viable and then other times you drop and you search like a three-story parking garage and there's not a single gun anywhere you're running around for five minutes and you haven't found a single gun and that's unacceptable i mean it makes the gameplay impossible you can't play it you really can't play it um and it's it's really bad and what that does is it makes it makes it just rng based that's entirely what it is like if you drop and there's not a gun uh tough luck there might not be a gun in half of the place that you've been dropped and you have to move on to a different place and running from here to there is too far you will die uh so they have to fix that they have to increase the amount the the gun drop rate or something i'm not sure but this is a huge problem i've had other people tell tell me this as well um sometimes you just drop and and it's not just sometimes it's often there's often times you will drop and there will be no gun uh and that's just in a battle royale game like that's like saying hey thanks for starting up a game in the lobby but you're gonna be one of the people to die first and there's nothing you can do about it like it's not fun the next thing i want to talk about is the mid game now if you're not familiar with uh battle royale games or mobas or anything like that um longer game types where you're playing a single match for 20 minutes or more um it's kind of divided up, divided up into early game mid game and late game and this is true for pretty much every battle royale um the dropping and not having a weapon that is a problem with the early game right when you first drop you can't get a weapon that's frustrating and it's really bad the problem i'm going to talk about now is with mid game and that is that mid game is boring there's nothing to do i mean there's no building there's no harvesting of materials and with a huge map and only 80 players uh by the time you're in mid game you're just running away from the storm and there's only 30 people on the map but there's still 40 percent of the map is still wide open so it's like the odds of you running into somebody are, are super low and there's nothing to do while you're running away from the storm you're not getting materials you're not doing anything um so you're just running for like literally five minutes like you're just running and that's boring it's really boring and i noticed that like four games in, i was like wow this is like the fourth game in a row where i've just been running doing nothing and like i don't know it's just really bad it was like really bad. i noticed it pretty soon after booting up the beta um one thing i will say is that vehicles do help with this obviously if you jump on an atv you can get from point a to point b a lot quicker and that obviously helps because you're not just running for a long time um but a lot of times there you're somewhere where there's just not a vehicle there's just there's no vehicles or somebody else took it and there was only one and that's it and now you're just running so I will acknowledge that vehicles do address that problem, but I think there either needs to be more vehicles or something else needs to be done because, you know, I just, I get bored just running for five minutes, you know, and that's not an exaggeration either. Like five full five minutes, just, just sit there in silence for five minutes. It feels like forever. And that's really what it, you're just running. So anyway, another thing I want to talk about is time to kill. Now, some games time to kill feels good. Other games, it feels atrocious and i figured out that it's because of multiple things um first off body armor my god body armor a level one so first off there's three tiers of body armor level one two and three a level one body armor reduces bullet damage by 40 percent you take 40 percent less damage by just getting the basic common body armor that on top of the fact that you can get a trauma kit which boosts your health by 50 that's literally a 33 percent boost in health it just makes the time to kill way too different from a base level 150 health person to a person with level two body armor and trauma kit you're shooting them for you know a good 10 seconds whereas the other guy you can just melt him in one so it's like it feels very weird and you're not sure if you're unloading too much ammo or not enough ammo and sometimes you think oh i can i can definitely kill this guy because i already put three bullets into him so he must be close to dead and then you jump around the corner and you get melted for some reason and it just seems ridiculous that even though you like pre-fired hip fired everything there's you can't do anything about it and you got the first shot off 
you still died because oh he had level three armor plus the trauma kit and there's no way to really know i mean like when you're shooting you, you know that they have armor um but you don't know what level armor that they have as much as much as i know you can't tell the difference um and it just it feels way too like it's not consistent there's no consistency in that time to kill uh and it makes it really difficult to gauge whether or not you should enter a gunfight or not and most of the times you know i don't want to because i don't want to die and that just leads to you know back to the previous con of boring mid game it's like oh i'm not even going to engage with him because i don't know what level body armor he has i you know i've dinged him a couple of times but shit that means nothing in this game so who knows like i'm not even gonna bother i'll just run away and yeah i don't know and the other thing with time to kill is when you get downed that's it you're dead like in other games you know if you get downed there's an incentive to kind of like you know don't kill the down guy because there's other people shooting at you but in this game you can kill the down guy so quick that you just it's like two three bullets like boom dead so like it's almost not even a mechanic that you get to use right like if your teammates down it's almost not even worth going to get him because he dies instantly there's almost no instances in fact that i've been playing where i've been playing duos or squads where a teammate gets down and i can help them there was like one instance but like you when you get down it's just so easy to melt the guy who's crawling that you just do it because it, it, it cost you nothing like it it's so fast and so easy it's like boom wow kill him just why not right so yeah it, that that mechanic needs to be fixed because there's no point in having that mechanic if you're never gonna survive being downed right so I don't know that just felt really weird to me like i kept playing uh, like if i'm in quads you know after the after first drop it was like two people were eliminated uh, right off the bat even if there we were all in the same building because when somebody gets down you can just quickly end their life regardless so that definitely needs to be fixed because it's really frustrating when now those other two people who died have to watch me play for 20 more minutes while i run doing nothing in mid game <laughs> Another thing that actually David Vonderhaar has been addressing a lot on Twitter is the loot system and how you pick up loot specifically by holding a uh, square and you know people were saying let's change it from hold square to just press square that way it's easier to pick things up and I don't agree with that I don't think that should be the, the the way to do it because you know imagine you're firing and you go to reload but you accidentally sidestepped over an item that you don't want to pick up and now you just pick up a weapon instead of reloading that would be annoying so I agree with holding to loot but another thing that people mentioned was okay well I don't want to have to hold to pick up ammo it's just ammo of course I'm gonna to want to pick up the ammo and to that David David, David Vonderhaar said we tried that meaning that before they launched the beta they tried just you know letting you pick up ammo by walking over it and he said it wasn't fun because everybody was just walking around with max ammo and that I disagree with I hate having to press and hold to pick up ammo uh, it's it's ridiculous uh, if anything make ammo something that you can pick up by just pressing square because at least then it won't switch your weapon it won't do anything like that but really it should be just something you walk over and if the problem is that everyone's walking around with max ammo then just decrease the amount of ammo that you get per thing that you walk over like per packet of ammo make there just be less in each that way when you walk over it you know you don't have max ammo in two minutes and i get that i get that you wouldn't want all the players to have max ammo i understand that but having to hold down square to pick up ammo is infuriating like all i'm doing early game is just hold down square hold down square hold down square hold down square move to the next building hold down square hold down square it's just super tedious and annoying and it's like for ammo like at least for ammo just let me pick it all up just run over it like save me that time save me that hassle it'll make the gameplay a little bit faster and it'll just be more fun and remove that tedious little chore that you're making everyone do and the last thing that i want to talk about is the user interface and the quick menu and all that stuff now um again david vonderhaar addressed on twitter he said that the quick menu will be getting some updates uh specifically that it will automatically go away if you don't interact with it for five seconds that's a good feature i agree that that should be implemented and you know kudos to them to for addressing that before we even talked about it um but even still i do have a problem with the user interface um in multiple ways like obviously the quick menu is good if they didn't have that it would be atrocious but um besides that having to press start and then having to navigate that grid of everything i don't know it doesn't feel right because then you can you can go and take an attachment off something and then 
you have to attach it back but you know you might want to drop it sometimes i don't know it just wasn't very intuitive for a console but the biggest problem is the backpacks that players drop when they die um running over to a backpack holding square and then you have to cycle through everything that they have with the d-pad instead of it just like pulling up like a like a three by three grid or a four by four grid like that would have been way quicker because then you can quickly like flick over to the things that you want press square grab those and then exit that little menu instead of having to like press over pass all the shit that you don't want to get to the ammo or whatever the case might be right it was just really annoying plus sometimes like i was having issues with that with that mechanic where i'm trying to scroll through and it won't scroll past the thing that i'm on that's probably just a bug that they'll fix obviously but you know i just that it just was not console friendly um the quick menu obviously will be good on pc because you can just hotkey things to that quick menu or quick bar or whatever you want to call it so that's fine but I don't know i just feel like the user interface is pretty clunky definitely something that you would see in a beta so hopefully they fix that for the official release and the last thing i want to talk about is actually hitting your shots uh, and this is interesting because i was oh, i was wondering when they announced call of duty was doing a bl blackout battle royale um i was like is it gonna be hit scan is it gonna be just like multiplayer and i want to say it is but there's definitely instances where my crosshairs are right on a target and it's missing every single shot and you know yeah they're at a distance but like my crosshairs are dead on so i'm not really sure so i wanted to ask you guys like first off if it is hit scan then they need to fix the hit boxes because there are definitely times where i'm missing shots that i absolutely should not be missing if it's not hit scan that's interesting because it's a call of duty game and it feels kind of like there is hit scan um so i'd like your input on that in the comment section below if you guys know if it's hit scan or not like confirmed link your sources i'd like to see um but yeah that's pretty much it guys so i just want to bring you this quick video uh talking about my first impressions of blackout kind of comparing it to fortnite <clears throat> and the final verdict is will this will this kill fortnite in its current state absolutely not it won't come even close uh fortnite will see zero reduction in player base uh for many reasons one for all the cons that i just listed it's like ridiculous the most of those things are not issues with fortnite fortnite has its own issues of course but none of those are problems in fortnite uh also fortnite's free and this game's 60 dollars. so bam right there like there you go um so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching um let me know down in the comment section below if you've played the blackout beta what you think of it and uh, drop a thumbs up on the video to let me know that you enjoyed it or you found it useful or entertaining or whatever the case is subscribe and click that bell so you know the next time that i upload and that's about it guys so thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace